Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft single player Let's Play. So the last episode that at we did was for the 10th anniversary of Minecraft, so now it is passed, obviously, and all the cakes of the number 10 are gone with them now, so those are all back to normal. So I'm going to remove all the uh, cakes from Big Ben. <coughs> Before we do that, I just wanted to show you that last episode I, ex I forgot to place some of the uh, pistons that were on the ground over here with trapdoors, and I did it now. So now, now it's all done, and I also had realized that I hadn't replace the pistons from the uh, the next level the level where the sugarcane farm is so down here I had forgot to place the uh, tra pistons with trap doors and I just did it now so now it is all lit up down here now which is perfect and yeah it's all good down here and I started the episode in front of the uh, map wall I don't I want to say that's not I don't want to make that the permanent map spot I want to make a better map I want to make it like an actual map room so I'm gonna probably get a different map and put it somewhere uh, another map somewhere else but I'm gonna leave this one here but I wanted to start here because I realized that Big Ben hasn't uh, I haven't updated to where Big Ben is here now because when I made this map the little ponds and stuff were around the the area still over here so I thought it'd be cool to see a little before and after here of what it looks like without Big Ben then and now with it built and here now. So let's break it off. All right, that was quick. And there we go. There's Big Ben. I thought I had actually taken that pawn out, but I guess I didn't. Good thing I didn't cuz I didn't want to I didn't want to remove all of it. See, so yeah, that's what look that's what Big Ben looks like on the map. You see the top of the 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 top of the roof and you see that I think the white bit right there. Let's actually pull her up. I think those are the two cakes that I put up there. And then the little edges right there, that's from the uh, cakes too. So I think we should just quickly check out and see what it looks like now without what the cakes look like because they don't have the number 10 on them. So let's quickly, okay good, I still have my elytras on. So I thought this episode we should start digging out the tunnel. Oh, hello there, you have some of my wheat, don't you? Why do you? Take stuff from me. But yeah, so I thought we would go up there and check it out because, or no, I thought we would dig out the tunnel towards the uh, melon and pumpkin farm because I would like to get that started. Uh, we're not going to decorate or anything today. I think just today we're just going to, I'm just going to dig it out. We can fly. There we go. We can fly. Yeah, so that's what, I might, I don't know, I might keep the cakes up. Yeah, I'll do the uh, the, the tunnel. So let's go on down to the Bill and the Pumpkin Farm, and so and I'll start digging out the tunnel over here, off camera. So I'll take out the staircase and this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should dig a couple blocks down, probably, and prepare that because eventually, like I said too, I want to replace, uh, update the uh, sorting system here with the uh, comparator hopper lock sorting method because it's it's just way better. I'll leave all these like this so I'll know which chest is for which uh, item. But yeah, I'm going to start digging it out. I'll do that off camera and then once I get in a good start with it, I'll show you the progress on the tunnel. Alright everybody, uh, I am back here. I just wanted to share some something that I did here off camera. I just made some banners of the uh, British flag and the... I said that really weirdly. Uh, or strange. Uh, the British flag and the American flag. I put it all around the Big Ben here because I'm American, but of course the Big Ben is from London, England. So I also put the British flag down. And it also, I want to say, kind of represents the uh, friendship and uh, connection we, the United States and Great Britain have because I think the British are awesome. You know, I'm American, I love the British. So I thought it would be really cool to add, like I said, uh, the British and American flag on Big Ben. And I still need to take down the cakes, but I figured why just destroy them while, and rather instead of eating them like you're supposed to, so I won't waste them. So I'm just going to come up here whenever I'm really hungry and just eat a bunch of cake. So I don't waste it, because I don't like to waste things. So, yeah, that's going on there. And uh, I needed to stop by the cave real quick quick and grab some oh I hear some slimes I need to grab some 
uh, comparators and uh, hoppers and stuff like, and maybe some chests so I can add in the sorting system to the p farm. So that's probably more than enough. And that should be good. Okay. So I'm going to quickly grab any more supplies that I need. And I'm going to build contraptions there so I can get a good start on it. And once that's done, I'll show you the progress. And I'll go on from there and build more and more of the sorting modules. So I'll do that and I'll see you in a sec. Alright, so... I've had to do a lot of reworking and designing here because I had just realized that when I was building the little, uh, or the, uh, the hopper lock, a little module thing or whatever it's, whatever it's called, uh, there, w I was going to build it over here and I'm like, oh, I really don't want to do that because I don't want to obviously it, I don't want this to be in the middle of the walkway. And I was like, okay, then I decided to dig out over here, and then I realized, or I always, I knew, but I didn't want to hit into the, uh, into the, the water ducts and the redstone for the, uh, farm itself. So I dug over here a little bit, I was going to put it over here, then I realized these, these, uh, stone brick blocks right here hold redstone dust right underneath the daylight sensors. So I can't break those blocks, because that will obviously make the farm not work, so... What I ended up doing is just I'm deciding to make this the collection area. So I'll go or I'll go over here. This side will be the side where I used to open the uh, chest. So this will be the way where I'll enter into the uh, farm from the cave. So I'm going to dig out a pa the pathway over here. So I'm going to probably dig maybe I'll have to dig out this way and try to and connect to the cave. So I'll do that. So this will be the way where I'll access the chest. And then over here will be where the the redstone stuff will be. So I got to copy this now a couple a couple times. So I'm going to be doing this now. And then once I'm done, I'll get back to you. Okie dokie. So I just finished uh, finishing building all the little... I don't know why I keep saying the little. But I finished building and adding all the lock hopper sorting stuff here and this pumpkin right here actually indicates where the pumpkins are separated from the watermelon so from all the way up to this pumpkin is watermelon so all this is watermelon and this pumpkin right here is where all the rest of the pumpkins are going to be going or the pumpkins are sorted there and as i was doing this again i was thinking you know what be uh, be a good idea so i can store even more is to um, Dig this level, the floor level, a uh, couple blocks down here, so I know I'll have enough uh, headroom from the surface from in, so I won't have to worry about uh, on digging up on top of the surface when I dig the tunnel. So I'll dig this down a couple more blocks here, so I can also also this will also enable me to have more storage for storing more watermelon and pumpkins, and plus, like I just said, I won't have to worry about digging up on the surface and it'll give me a couple more blocks so I can make the tunnel bigger and more detailed and whatever and a plus I'll actually be able to hopefully recreate this wall design here on this side so it'll be all looking the same and matching so that'll be good so I'm probably I'm gonna cut here uh, dig up all this ground and have to still touch all the melon and I'll dig a couple blocks down here so I can get more storage in here. I don't know exactly how far I want to dig down. Maybe enough to where I'll, maybe far enough down so I'll add so I'll be able to add like three more rows of chests. All right, so a bit of time has passed by and I have done quite a bit as you can see. So I started I dug out a lot more of the space down here now. It's probably more than enough. And I started copying the uh, little wooden arches that I have around the base. And I'm carrying on with the theme over here. <clears throat> and I have uh, more than enough storage now for all the watermelon and pumpkins. So that's great. And the way I have like sectioned it off is like the watermelon on the floor and the green or the wool colors here so I can get a 
better idea of where the stuff is stored. And I'm not done with the, the design yet. I want to come up with something interesting to put in here, but I don't know yet. But I just put, I got a great start and it kind of followed the theme from the room in here. And I think what I might do is I might, I'm going to copy, might copy this design and put it inside of the uh, walls here where the wooden columns are. So yeah, this, that, that's all done. So that is great. And I never sh showed you, but uh, last episode, all of the, uh, the most, the whole farm was, all the lights were on. So all the pistons were out during the daytime. And I, all I did was to fix that was I just broke the top uh, wooden slab and now it's all work. So that in the, in the daytime now, all the pistons are go back in so it's not a problem anymore I hadn't noticed that that was a problem but I fixed that so that's all fixed up and <clears throat> one of the most important things is I have dug out the uh, tunnel connecting this uh, the farm to the to the base now so I can at least go underground now and get under here now quicker without having to go up over the surface now so this is the stair uh, stairway I made. I just used a bunch of wooden slabs here, and I'm gonna copy the uh, leaf roof design that I did that goes over the staircase that's in the base. I'm just gonna copy that. I need to widen out the uh, the walkway still, of course, but I for now this is good. I just want to at least have the tunnel so I can use it to get to the farm and back in the cave without. Like you said, going over the surface. So yeah, I am uh, really happy w with this. At least I can get access to the farm within not have within the base now, which is really nice. You know, I just thought of something. I forgot to mention that um, apparently. So I want to get some bamboo yet, or I still need to get bamboo because I still haven't gotten any. So I found out that you can obtain, uh, you can obtain bamboo by fishing. Cause in a, if you fish in a, in a jungle biome, uh, you can catch bamboo, uh, and it's a really rare, uh, percentage of obtaining, but you can fish bamboo as a junk item. So I figured, because I really, really don't want to go and find a new jungle biome, because that's going to be such a pain, and I really don't want to deal with that. So I am just going, I made a little AFK fishing farm. I haven't used it yet, but I wanted to do it in this episode. I want to see if I can get uh, some, I'm going to try to get some bamboo here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the AFK fisher, and once I get get back to you I'll show you if I get it or not hopefully I'll I'll probably get it cuz I'm gonna wait until I get it and then I'll show you but then I'll show you all the other stuff that I end up getting from the AFK fishing so I'm going to start the AFK fishing and once I get back to you I'll show the bamboo that I get all right so I just did some AFK fishing and I just stopped and look at that I got some bamboo so that is fantastic so let's grab it and plant it so we can start growing more of it so I can make finally freaking make some scaffolding because I've been really really excited and been dying to try out the scaffolding because I've actually never used it before and crafted it yet so this is my first time Seeing and obtaining bamboo, so let's just grow it out by the farm area for now, and then eventually I will make a proper bamboo farm, of course, so I can mass produce it and make a butt ton of uh, scaffolding. So let's get on around to the front of the farm real quick, and then we shall end the episode here for today. Boom! Look at that. We got bamboo finally. Fan freaking tastic. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here for today. I've done a lot today, and I'm done playing for the day. So, 
I hope you all, all enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you all. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I have did a little modification to my skin again, which I've been doing a lot recently. I changed the uh, eye colors of my character to match the color of my eyes in real life. And I think it actually looks way better than just being black anyways. So yeah, that is that. So like I was saying, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And I will see you in the next one, everybody. Alright, everybody. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>